Revamping a kitchen has always ranked at the top of homeowners' wish lists, but between appliances and fitting out bench tops, I mean, this stuff isn't cheap. It certainly isn't. No. So we set our Renault queen, Sherry Barber, the ultimate challenge to spruce up an 80s kitchen for a fraction of the cost. Right. Let's see how she went. Cherie, this is a pretty old school kitchen. There is a lot of peach going on here. How are you going to modernise this? We could resurface the bench tops with laminate paint, but the new owners want to replace those. We're going to laminate paint all of the kitchen cabinets. We're going to replace the appliances, put new handles on. So it's basically cosmetically refreshing everything, working with what we've got. And kitchen renovations can be really expensive. So how much are we going to do this one for? The average kitchen renovation cost costs 25,000 at the moment, actually in excess of that. So we're going to do this kitchen for around three and a half thousand. Well we've got a lot of work to do, should we get to it? We will. I was gonna say I roll up my sleeves but I haven't got any. <laughs> first things first, Cherie is removing the old wooden handles and sanding down the cupboards. We are not throwing the sink and the sink tap in the skip bin that's going straight on Gumtree. It's a hundred bucks that comes back in the budget to help with this cost. It's out with the old bench and in with the new. Why have you chosen this one? What I want to do is make this kitchen look more expensive than what it really is. So I've chosen a bench top that looks like stone, but it's actually laminate. All of the bench tops for the kitchen were $350. That's pretty good. Simply because I went direct to the bench top factories, didn't shop in the retail store. So that is the key to saving money. Absolutely the trick. One of the ways we're saving money in this kitchen is by just keeping the existing tile splash back. The old tiles had this funny print. I've just undercoated and I'm using the White Knight tile paint straight over the top. It'll look brand new. Cherie is moving on to painting the cupboards and she's going for a two-tone look. No more peach colour. No, it's gone, thank goodness. So this one's called Oil Shale, beautiful dark grey. And that's the thing, most people, they have these old cabinets, you know, they're timber, peach colour, and they think they've got to throw their kitchen out, and you don't. Grey is a really popular colour with kitchens. Why is that? It's a colour that buyers and renters love, so you don't ever want to do anything to your home that could alienate either of those two people. So Britt, we took off all the old handles, they'd seen better days, and we've just replaced them with a the new modern chrome handle. Bought them in a project pack because that's the cheapest way to buy your handles. Cherie, the new appliances look so fresh and modern, such a big change from what it was before. Yeah, we had the old brown glass appliances and you really can't do anything with those, so we replaced them with some new modern appliances. Oven, cooktop, range hood and dishwasher for just over $1,000. So you definitely save money when you buy your appliances as a bundle deal, not individually. Cherie is also adding $30 IKEA stools for extra seating. And to finish off our kitchen, Cherie is adding some much needed styling touches. Everybody wanna shine. Wow, Cherie, this looks like a brand new kitchen. It doesn't even look like the same one. I know, it's hard to believe. That's why I'm like really big on salvaging what you can. And you've got an extra shelf here which you've added, which is a great use of space. Yeah, the old wall here had nothing on it, so it was a dead zone, so I've just put it to good use. Again, off-the-shelf storage system. It's a great place now for cups, plates, whatever your heart desires. And we spend so much time in the kitchen, this has just made a world of difference to this home. It absolutely has. It goes to show there's a lot of merit in mixing the old with the new. Three and a half thousand is not a lot. It's def definitely better than 25 grand. And I know when the family come home this afternoon, they're going to get a nice surprise. What? How good does that look? At three and a half grand. You got, that's not, that was some CGI stuff. Surely <laughs> it good. No, but it's true. She go did to, it. She go did check it. out one of Sheree Barber's free property masterclasses. She'll show you how to do it. Visit renovatingforprofit.com.au.